What's up everybody, Savazzy here. In this video, we're gonna connect my Apollo Twin Duo Core interface to my brand new MacBook with the M1 processor. Will it work? Let's find out. All right, first order of business is connecting the Apollo Twin interface to the MacBook. Now, since the Twin is a Thunderbolt 2 connection, I need to use a Thunderbolt 2 to 3 adapter. So I'm going to take this adapter out of the box, connect it to my existing Thunderbolt 2 cable coming from my Twin, and power up the Twin. And here we have the Thunderbolt 2 to adapter connection going into my new MacBook. So I want to start by going to UAD's website, and there's plenty of good information here. And a lot of it's recent, so up until looks like the 13th of November, I honestly didn't know if my older interface would work with my new MacBook, but UAD's actually added some information to their website, um, one of which is the compatibility matrix here, and it looks like Pretty much all of their software, including the Apollos, will work on the Apple Silicon uh, MacBooks with the exception of the FireWire models. Um, so if you have a FireWire model, uh, they recommend that you upgrade. I believe you can still upgrade to Thunderbolt if you have FireWire. Uh, since my dual core is a Thunderbolt 2, I think I'm okay, but this is a nice little quick reference to see if it's compatible or not. For the most part, pretty much everything is. They even have a statement here that says all software runs natively on the Apple Silicon Max, which is nice. So, so software wise, we're good. Then you just have to check um, if your Apollo is going to run on it or not. And once again, it's just the FireWire versions that would need to be upgraded. So the first thing we have to do is set up security on our Mac. Uh, UAD uh, added some additional information recently, which I think will really help streamline this process and uh, facilitate a pretty easy installation. At least that's what I'm hoping. But the first thing that they recommend here is actually going through um, a restart of your Mac and then changing your security um, to reduce security and allowing user management of kernel extensions. And this can be found on the help section of the UAD audio website. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and run through this procedure. I will leave links to this page. In the description as well so anyone who has to go through this for the first time can quickly reference the link and go through the procedure also so let me go ahead and follow these steps set up my security and then afterwards since I'm running uh, Monterey on my machine the next step will be to actually go through the installation procedure for Monterey so I went through the reboot procedure uh, I held down the power button and then uh, you actually want to hit options and when you hit options it prompts you for your password you put your password in and then you want to go to the upper left and hit utilities and then there's a selection for startup security utility so we'll go ahead and click that and this is my hard drive so I'm going to go ahead and click yes on this And now you can go to security policy. And once again, we want to go to reduced. And we want to go to allow user management of kernel extensions from identified developers. So that's the option we want to check. Hit OK. Once these are applied, I will go ahead and reboot my machine. And then we'll go ahead and move on to the next step, which is installation of UAD software on the Monterey OS, which is what's applicable for my machine. Uh, yours may be different, but uh, they have step-by-step uh, -step procedures for Monterey and also the 
latest one, which I believe is Ventura. So I went ahead and downloaded UAD software. And we're gonna install the package file here, package utility. And let's see what happens once we run this. I'm going to say yes to the standard installation of the software. It is a 5 gig package, so it's pretty hefty. Okay, so here we have to actually allow this in security preferences. So I'm going to go ahead and open security preferences and enable these extensions. I'm going to hit allow universal audio so it can load. So I'm going to hit allow here. Looks like I want to reboot. And it says that the installation was successful. So I'm going to go ahead and restart my Mac and see if we can actually, uh, get the software up and connect our interface. I just finished restarting my computer. This was after the software said that installation was successful. Upon restart, it prompted me to upgrade the firmware to my device. So it wanted to upgrade the firmware to the twin, which I went ahead and accepted. And now it's saying that in order to complete, I have to power off the twin. And then once I power it back on, it should be ready for use. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. It is booting up. Let's see if it recognizes it in the software. And it's connecting, which is wonderful. And it looks like we're connected. And that's a beautiful thing. And on my UAD web page, which you guys can't see, but it actually is showing me a picture of the twin duo. It's asking me if I want to complete registration, if I want to personalize it. So it looks like installation was successful. So I'm going to go ahead and finish registration here. And then, um, I'll be back once we're, uh, once I'm done with registration and we'll go ahead and actually pull up console software and I'll plug in and see if we can actually um, you know get some sounds out of it and, and hear some some guitar and some plugins and stuff like that. All right, so it looks like I'm at the last step here, which is authorization. Um, I'm on the UAD website which, you guys can't see at the moment, but it's basically telling me open up the meter and control panel application and click on the UAD2 button, which is right here. 
and then it's basically saying, hey, let's go ahead and authorize plugins in the plugins panel. It looks like it's got a few that are authorized already. And it has, a, looks like some other ones here that are not. So well, let me go ahead and hit authorize plugins. Gonna update. It says, hey, authorization successfully updated, which is great. And then we hit OK. And then I think we should be good to go. I have my software installed. My Apollo Twin is connected and powered up. I have my control panel showing me how much DSP I'm currently using. Also has my plugin list right here. So I have a lot of different plugins that I could demo. Um, I do have a few that come with the twin already by default. The Distortion, the 610B. There should be an LA-2A as well somewhere in here. Yeah, there it is. So you do get a few handfuls of plugins at your disposal with your twin device. So this is good, this looks good. I have console open. I have my guitar plugged in. I'm going to go ahead and play. And we can see signal coming in on my guitar and bass channel strip. I also see signal on the output meters on the right. And I am ready to record. If you guys got value out of this video, consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this and guitar related content. And I will see you guys in the next video.